Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Ricky Live, and in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use stream elements with Facebook gaming. Streaming on Facebook has never been easier, mainly for the fact that stream elements is an all in one platform for live streaming. We have our own overlays, our own tipping alerts, stream reports, and of course, OBS live, which is an add on for OBS studios that makes streaming super duper easy. All right, so what you're gonna do, you're gonna wanna go to streamelements.com and you're gonna connect your Facebook gaming account. Let that load up. Then you're gonna come to your dashboard. Here, you'll see all your followers, your supports, your fans, your tips, your stars, your shares, everything will be right here on this page. Check out the themes gallery. Uh, Stream Elements has something really cool called super themes. We have stuff for Apex Legends, Fortnite, and PUBG, just to name a few. So let's let's create a super theme for PUBG because I've been playing that a little a little bit here. Uh, so you're gonna go to create and you're gonna choose an overlay theme name. Uh, I'll just make it PUBG overlay, and you're gonna go to create my overlay. That's simple, honestly. That's simple, bro. And you'll see all these links. It'll have something for your camera, something for your uh, intermission screen starting soon. Be right back. Stream ended. Like, <laughs> and all you literally have to do is just copy each link that you want to use. Or, or you can go to uh, my overlays and you'll be able to edit your scene right there. All right. So let's use this camera overlay. So I'm going to copy that right there by that uh, little chain. And this is actually perfect because I was just playing PUBG uh, this morning and I was getting smacked up, but we're not going to talk about that. Uh, you're going to log in. Uh, you're going to come to this scene, a new scene. Um, I'll call this tutorial. Is that how you spell tutorial? Question mark? Yeah, it is. OK, All right, I'm going to delete this one so I can start brand new. All right, I have my scene. So now I'm going to add that source I just copied. So you're going to go to browser source. Um, name is something like overlay so you don't confuse yourself. And you're going to take this whole uh, URL that's already in there. Delete that and then control V to paste the URL that you just copied from the stream elements website. And you're going to post it right in that URL. And then you're going to make sure the width is 1920 by 1080 so that the uh, dimensions are right for your overlay. And then you're also gonna come down here to shut down source when not visible. That's also important. Click that and you're gonna click okay. And then bada boom, bada ding, everything that you need is, <laughs> it's literally right there, bro. You got your webcam, you got your, your, your handles, you got your latest tip, top tip, latest supporter, fan count everything it's in the click it's a click away my guy super easy right super easy all right so now i'm going to take you back to that overlay page and i'm going to show you that you can actually edit the overlay so say you didn't like exactly what it looked like and you want to edit something you're going to go back you're going to go to my overlays and you're going to go to one of these like i said i was messing with this earlier so i already have like a lot of uh of, of stuff I was messing with, but I'll go back to the uh, public, the PUBG uh, overlay and you will click this little uh, pencil. It says overlay editor. Click that. Just go there and let that load up. And right here, this is called your overlay editor. Here you can mess with everything. You can change anything. You can change the handle. You can change the webcam height. You can change the latest tips to have, have it read whatever you want. Any, everything on the screen is fully customizable and you have widgets, you have data you can use like your latest follower. You can add text, you can add images, you can add videos. Everything that you need to edit is right here. And when you're done editing it, you're just going to hit uh, save. Make sure it's saved and then you're going to go to launch. And either you can copy this link and just post it back in the browser source. Or if you, once you hit save, like I'll show you an example, say I changed, um, 
say I changed this name from top tip to big homie, right? Oh, all right. Say I changed that, right? All right. It says top homie right there, right? Okay. You're going to come back here. It says top tip here, right? When you go to hit save, it saves. Check this out. It says top homie. That's it's literally really easy, man. Ah, oh, it's such a lifesaver. The overlay editor is really simple. It's it's amazing, man. It's really amazing. All right, so now I'm gonna take you to the tipping page. Uh, Stream Elements is really cool because they don't have any hidden fees or distractions. It's really simple to set up as well. You're just gonna go to your tipping settings. You're gonna connect your PayPal account. As you see, I already have mine connected. And then you're, good, you're just gonna copy this uh, URL link to your tipping page. So control C, and then you're gonna go to your streamer dashboard on Facebook and go to uh, go live, find your donation link, your old one and replace it. Like I said, I already have mine set up. So this is mine. Pretend this is the old one. I'm gonna delete it and place it right back there and you're set up. All right, so cool. You got everything set up. You got your donation link set up. You have your overlay for your stream looking nice and spicy. Um, last thing I wanna show you is OBS Live. Like I said, it's an add-on for OBS Studios and it, it makes everything super cool. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna go back to your stream elements right here on the left-hand side, you're gonna see OBS Live. You're gonna click that and scroll down a little bit and you're gonna download it. When you download it and everything installs, but it's really simple, really quick, you're gonna pull this up. You're gonna connect to your, uh, you're gonna connect to it and you're, you're gonna come here. You'll see three different sections. First section is your activity feed. You'll see all your followers, your alerts, your uh, your donations, your tippings, your stars. Basically any alert will be right here. You can change the size of it if you want it to be bigger, smaller, what have you. Your viewers will also be here. You can pause your alerts if you're getting flooded with them. You can just pause them to have like a little talk. You can skip an alert. You can mute an alert. You can replay an alert. Um, It's all right there in your activity feed. You also have a chat. So you don't have to have a separate section on your uh, monitor for your chat. You can literally just pull this out and just have it any or in on one monitor and it has everything, which is super convenient for me because I'm always having like 10, 20 different windows up when I stream. But this this will cut down on a lot of space for me. All right, so cool. You have your overlay set up. You have your tipping page set up. You're using OBS Live like a boss. I think you're good to go. If you have any problems or, or any questions, don't hesitate to hit up Stream Elements. They're on Twitter and they're on Discord. Their Discord is discord.gg slash se. They're available 24 seven and you know, you can also not even just for the help. You can also just be a part of a great community of streamers. So other than that, thank you so much for uh, watching this tutorial video. I hope I helped you out a little bit. Go chase that dream, baby. Ricky live. I'm out. Bye.